Check Johnny out, this is what a real physio does when he turns up. Lucky charms for Amy, Krispy Kremes. Are they for me or are they for you? <laughs> and then we've got Nails. Reese's. Now these are definitely mine, I'm a bit partial to Reese's pieces. Hey, did you see that video, Rolly Winkler? Have you seen it? With the chocolate? Yeah. Oh, it's 20, 20 kilos of white chocolate. 20, he said he liked white chocolate to a fan brought a suitcase in and there was tons and tons, 20 kg of white chocolate, all in different, can you imagine it? Insane. Hint, hint. <laughs> Real true fans. Reese's. <laughs> Good boy, it's all right. Would you ever post, like, in your, like say you're at the peak of your off season? This and is just what saying, we're say. This is me. Well, this is what we're agreeing to now. Like, this is my first off season vlog. And we're going to. Everyone always asks me, like, people are actually saying now, we've seen you conditioned. Yeah, we want to see what your off season looks like. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to, aren't we? Bite the bullet and do it. Yeah, it's really tight. I've been just having a few niggles in that shoulder, and that's obviously where it's coming from, that tight peck, isn't it? How are your first few sessions have, have they been? What, so the, the training sessions? Yeah. Yeah, um, like this is my first official, or just coming into the second week of my, my off season. Um, first time lifting some heavy weight again. Feels good. Last week was, was shocking. I had no strength whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I think with the calories going in, my body's getting used to it now. The doms aren't as much. Um, yeah, not too bad. It's nice to be, be training for enjoyment now, rather than for a, a specific date, like in prep. When you're in prep, it's more like you get in, get it done, get out. Whereas when you're off season, like you say, you can take your time in the gym, you can touch the heavier weight, you've got more calories, so you enjoy the pump more. It's just overall better when you're full of fat calories. You're trying to grow as a physio when you're trying to grow and trying to make improvements to your physique is, is key isn't it? it's like one of the deciding factors you've got nutrition training and then obviously recovery and physio yeah because as the muscle grows you know you've got to keep working through it you, you want to avoid the bone landmark yeah. so that the yeah. pelvic bone there yeah. If you go on that, I will hurt. I dropped a dumbbell on it the other day in the chest. Good work. You're pressing right on the bruise. Okay. <laughs> Just here? Yeah. Right there, man. So this is um, my first off-season uh, delivery from Muscle Foods. Uh, I'm looking forward to this because I never really get the chance to try anything off of diet. So uh, I always have steak, salmon, and predominantly uh, white meat, so chicken or turkey from Muscle Food. So I don't really ever get the chance to try all their menu. And if you've ever been on their website, they've got some awesome, awesome things on there. So this is mine and Amy's like little treats. So that's not a treat, but that's quite healthy. We've got uh, rice, sweet potato packeted. I think that's more for Amy because that portion size is not gonna be enough for me now. Uh, so we've got avocado oil, um, clean, essential fats which is great for adding calories as well for me at the minute off season i've got to get every calorie i can in so we're uh, nice healthy way of cooking this was the amy's choice but we've got a lot of meatballs uh, she raves on about these she's had these before so these have a lot to live up to so i've got quite a few of these uh, we've got turkey hash steaks uh, again i've not tried any of these so i'm looking forward to that if you can see it's still healthy options um but most of Muscle food is healthy options anyway. It's just obviously um, portion sizes, portion control is, is key. Uh, protein cheese, again, I've not tried this. A bit partial to cheese, so I'm expecting a lot from this. Um, got a lot of salmon, which a lot of people see. If you ever see me on prep, I eat a lot of salmon. Uh, steaks. Turkey steaks. <laughs> what happened? So we've got flaxseed oil, two lots of it. Um, again, this is a great way of getting flax, uh, flax. <laughs> getting essential fats in. Extra calories, I'll be taking three teaspoons a day, so spaced out with meals. Plum butter, essential, again, more calories. As you can see, there's more fats in this 
um, delivery. Normally I'm high carbs, but I can't physically put any more complex carbs in. I can obviously go to the dark side and get sugars in, but I'm gonna try on this off season to, to get extra calories in through clean, uh, fatty sources. These are for Amy. I've had these before. I do think they're good. I think there's a time and a place for them. When I'm on prep, I won't be taking anything like this, but um, Walden Farms, uh, near zero French vanilla. Uh, she has all different sources, but it's a great way of, obviously, no calorie sources. But I think when you're dieting, it's important to just get rid of all that in your head. Uh, just get back to your plain eating, plain food. And it, you don't create cravings then. I did it on one prep, and I was having this chocolate spread, and I was literally scooping out after every meal, because I was like, zero calories, it doesn't matter. But then I became, addicted to it, I wanted more and more of it, so I think I've got a good understanding of just get rid of it all out of your diet, 16 weeks, and then you'll be sorted, sound. There you have it. So obviously I'll be putting complex carbs still into my diet, so that is a big factor on my diet. So even if I'm off season, on season, that is where I get a lot of my calories from. Um, as you can see, a lot more fats are being introduced. Um, me and Neil have a few more days of tweaking our off-season plan, but it's begun already. Like I say, we're a week in, uh, weight's creeping up. Not necessarily great weight at the minute, um, but it's just me trying to keep my appetite and just enjoying any type of calorie for now before we get back into that mental state of prepping hard, even on my off-season. So uh, I have to end it. <laughs> I never know what to say. Thanks, Muscle Food. Yeah, that's a good shout. Huge shout out to Muscle Foods. Massive thank you for obviously supplying this month in, month out, even when I'm prepping for show or on my off season. Uh, they're going to be helping me gain some muscle and uh, try and get that title for 2020. Shoulders and calves. Shoulders and calves. <laughs> oh, no, we're not. We're calves and shoulders. Calves and shoulders. Let's do this. So, we're in week one of Y3T, um, first time we're both trying this method of training. Uh, it's similar to what we've done in the past, but this is a bit more structured uh, and we're going off plan. So, the first exercise, four warm-up sets, 18 reps, uh, with a light weight, and then we're going to go for four working sets with a heavier weight for eight to ten reps, nice and basic. So the idea is to go in heavy straight off, hit it on, and then sort of taper out. So let's we'll see how that goes. Eight to twelve. So first working set. Oh! Cool. 
Traps are not engaged, so they're completely down. And we're just basically using our medial head. Uh, oh. 
dumbbell rear delts bent over. What he said. Two. One, two. Slow we down, slow it down. Come on, make it heavy. Textbook. Who's that looks to me for a reaction? That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, where are you going? We do no wrap. The train, that's it. What did we do? We forgot already. Shoulders. No, we did shoulders and calves. Um, week one of Y3T, so a lot of, lot of volume, but then we go straight into like heavy sets, don't we, as well? So a bit of both. Um, we've trained like this in the past. Um, we'll just try it for three weeks, see how we go. Any input? Sorry, I'm just messing around with some of down here. Ruins it every time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, edit me out. Edit me out. <laughs> leave it. Keeping in. you in. Yeah, leave it in. Good night. Yeah, good, good session. Night.